today we'll be doing a quick lesson on how to write down the ATIS information from North Perry Airport. As we all know, sometimes it could get a little hectic because they speak really fast and there are a lot of information to understand. So let's get started. So we'll start with what is an ATIS. So ATIS stands for Automatic Terminal Information Service. What it is is basically simply a recording from the people in the tower that provide uh, information related to the current weather and the airport facilities to all the pilots currently using the airport. It is updated every 55 minutes past the hours in order to sync with the current METAR, which is the weather information, and each recording is assigned with an alphabet. So for example, if the current ATIS is assigned as alpha, then the ATIS for the next hour will be Bravo, and Charlie will be the next one, and after that, and so on. So the main purpose of the ATIS, which is only published for Tower Airport, is to reduce the radio congestion of the airport. So before calling the ground, each pilot will listen to the ATIS, which contains important information related to the airport operation. When you contact the ground and acknowledge that you have the ATIS information, it means that you understand the current situation at the airport and will comply with the procedures enforced at that time, such as which runway is in use, which um, tower frequencies you'll be using, and so forth. Before we start, here are a few tips on how to practice to write down the ATIS. Number one, um, information is always provided in the same format following the same order. What that means is every single airport in the United States, um, the ATIS is always provided in the same manner. So if you missed a few information, just wait until it repeats again and then just fill in the blank. Number two, um, enforce a systematic way to copy down the ATIS and always write it in the same way in order to increase proficiency. So practice makes perfect. Um, so for this video, feel free to slow it down and replay as many times as you can so you can follow along and practice writing down the ATIS. Number three, keep it simple. You do not need to write down everything you hear in the ATIS. Um, keep it simple and only copy down the information that applies to you. For example, as a student pilot, there's no need to worry about which GPS approach is in use. Those only applies to instrument operations. You only need to focus on which runways are used for landing and departing for VFR operation, which is just the landing and departing runways that's reported in the ATIS. Number four, pay attention to special operations such as split tower frequencies, runway closures, or TFR in effect. These special conditions could change on any day and sometimes might be left until the very end of the recording. So make sure to always listen to the entire ATIS before you switch over. Copying down the ATIS. So for this section, we'll tackle the ATIS um, together in three steps. Assuming we're in the role of a student pilot or private pilot. Step one. What we'll do is we'll depict the entire ATIS recording on what has been said. So this section is over here, as you can see. Step two, we'll identify which parts of the ATIS applies to us as a student pilot and which parts do not. So anything that's highlighted red is the part that we are able to omit. In step three, the last step, we will write down the ATIS in a systematic way, way which you can see from the top right over here. Okay, so let's get started. So let's take a listen for uh, sample number one. Airport 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 Advise on this contact, give information Foxtrot. 
Okay, so let's go over what he just said. So no period tower information Foxtrot. So that's the current um, alphabet information over here. The issue time for the ATIS is 1153 Zulu. Uh, wind is calm. Visibility is 10 satchel miles. Sky condition is clear. Temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. Dew point is 17 degrees Celsius. Altimeter is 30.05 inches mercury. Currently the RNAV GPS approach runway 10 right is in use, so that's why this thing is in red because as a VFR pilot, I need to listen to which runway are using for VFR operations, which is the next sentence. It says, landing and departing runway 10 left and runway 10 right. Use caution for bird activity in the area, so that's just information for me to know as a pilot. And advise on initial contact, you have information foxtrot and then you will repeat again. So to write this ATIS down, what I like to do, for example, on the top right over here, I'll write down the current ATIS information and then put a box around it. And that way, every time I look down at my kneeboard, I can clearly see what is the current information. Winds calm, so we'll put a C over here. Visibility 10 statue miles, we'll put one zero over here. Sky clear, we can put in SKC to depict sky clear. Temperature 1.8, 2.17. Altimeter with an A, 3005. And landing and departing runway that I'll be using as a VFR pilot will be 10 left and 10 right. And here's an example in real time how we can write in down the ATIS in a systematic way. Okay, report information by short time, 1153 Zulu, wind calm, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 18, 2.17, altimeter 3005. Our GPS approach, runway 10 right in use, landing and departing runway 10 left, runway 10 right. Use caution for bird activity in the area, advise on this contact, give information, Fox Trap. So moving on to sample two, um, this time you see that it's going to have a little bit more information, but we'll still go through it one by one to depict what exactly uh, it's contained within the ATIS. North of Tower, information, Bravo, time 1653 Zulu, wind 100 at 11, gust 20, visibility 10, sky condition, uh, scatter layer 3000, scatter layer 3800. Scatter layer 4500, temperature 30, 2.21, altimeter 2988. RNAV GPS approach, runway 2A right in use, circle the land, runway 100 left, landing and departing, runway 100 left and 100 right. All aircraft landing and departing, runway 100 left. All inbound aircraft from the east, contact tower 134.3. All aircraft landing and departing, runway 100 right, and all inbound aircraft from the west, and all banner towers, contact tower 132.1. Use caution for activity in the vicinity of the airport. All pilots require readback. Hold short instructions with call sign. Advise initial contact. You have Bravo. North of the information Bravo. Time 1653 Zulu. Wind 100 at 11. Gust 2-0. Visibility 1-0. Sky condition uh, scatter layer 3000. Scatter layer 3800. Scatter layer 4500. Temperature 30. 2.21. Altimeter 2988. RNAV GPS approach runway 2A right in use, circle the land, runway 100 left, landing and departing, runway 100 left and 100 right. All aircraft landing and departing, runway 100 left, all inbound aircraft from the east, contact tower 134.3. All aircraft landing and departing, runway 100 right, and all inbound aircraft from the west, and all banner towers, contact tower 132.1. Use caution for activity in the vicinity of the airport, all pilots require readback, hold short instructions with call sign, advise in this contact, you have Bravo. Okay, so for this ATIS information, we'll start with information Bravo. Issue time is 1653 Zulu. Wind is coming from 190, the direction, at 11 knots, gusting up to 20 knots. Visibility is 10 satchel miles, 
Sky condition, we have scattered layer at 3,000 feet, another one at 3,800, another one at 4,500. Temperature 30 degrees Celsius, 2.21 degrees Celsius, altimeter 2988 inches mercury. Our nav GPS approach to a right is in use. Circle to land, runway 19 left. So it means if you're shooting the approach of our nav to a right, you have to land at runway 19 left since that's the runway that they're using for takeoff and landing. And next you can see the landing and departing runway for EVFL traffic is one on the left and one on the right. And then you further specify all the aircraft landing and departing runway one on the left and all the aircraft coming from the east side of the airport, which is the shoreline. You have to contact the tower on 134.3. All the aircraft landing and departing runway one on the right and everybody coming in from the west or going out to the west and the banner towers We'll contact tower 132.1. So the reason they split the tower is because airports currently have too many airplanes that one person might not be enough to take care of everybody or maintain everyone's situation awareness. So they need two people to do the job and that's why they split the tower. Use caution bird activity in the vicinity of the airport and just tells you there's bird activity around the airport. Just be careful when you take off and land. All pilots required to read back hold short instruction with the call sign. So when you get assigned a hold short instruction, you have to read back that hold short instruction with your call sign and advise initial contact. You have information, bravo. Then it repeats again. So let's go to the top right to see how we'll write this uh, long A is down. So we still have the same thing. Information, bravo in the box. We'll have wind coming from 190. The speed is 11 knots gusting up to 20 knots visibility one zero scatter you can write down sct or even sc 3000 i put in 30 3800 i just put in three h omit the last two zeros so i don't have to waste too many space and write down zeros 4005 just put a four five um, if you want to get creative if there's a few clouds you can just put fe um, broken you can put bk and so forth Temperature 3.0, 2.21 degrees Celsius, altimeter 2988, and landing departing runway 19 left and 19 right. Over here at the end, I'll specify anybody using 19 left will be using a tower 134.3, 19 right will be using a tower on 132.1. So let's take a look how we will write this down in real time. North Tower Information, Bravo, time 1653 Zulu, wind 100 at 11, gust 20, visibility 10, sky condition, uh, scatter layer 3000, scatter layer 3800, scatter layer 4500, temperature 30, 2.21, altimeter 2988. RNAV GPS approach runway 2A right in use, circle the land, runway 100 left, landing and departing, runway 100 left and 100 right. All aircraft landing and departing, runway 19 left. All inbound aircraft from the east, contact tower 134.3. All aircraft landing and departing, runway 19 right. And all inbound aircraft from the west. And all banner towers, contact tower 132.1. Use caution for activity in the vicinity of the airport. All pilots require readback, hold short instructions with call sign. Advise initial contact, you have Bravo. Okay, and that will be all for the lesson for today.